Okay, we're, we remained under a court order to lift Title 42. That is Aren't a court order. That, that is a court order that is telling us to lift Title 42, and we're going to comply because we follow the rule of law. But the administration that is, sought to lift that it. Is, but it is a court order. But that is that started by you guys. It was a court order that has been provided to us, and so now we have to comply, and that is we have to comply by December 21st. It is it is a law so that is been don't support lifting what Title I'm 42? saying is that I, what I'm saying that it is a court order that has been presented to us that we are going to comply with. That's that's stupid. We're expecting an influx at the border. Well, after I, Wednesday. As you know, the president uh, appreciates the partnership that he has with the vice president. You're right. That has been her charge to uh, work in a diplomatic way on finding the root causes of of, um, of migration. I uh, don't have anything to lay out specifically on what that work looks like. Useless. The fact that the uh, removal of Title 42 is happening in just a day or two doesn't mean that the border is open. It just doesn't mean that. Uh, when Title 42 goes away, we will go back to Title 8, uh, which allows for a process to make sure that people can have their own asylum claims heard, and those who do not have a legal basis to remain will be quickly removed. That doesn't change the process uh, that we have been moving forward with since day one of this administration. I was just speaking to this gentleman from Venezuela. Me decías que tú te vas a esperar para cruzar para el 21. He's from Venezuela. He's been waiting here for a few days, and he knows that Title 42 is set to expire on the 21st, so he's going to wait until then to try to cross. The fact that the uh, removal of Title 42 is happening in just a day or two doesn't mean that the border is open. It just doesn't mean that. Liar, liar, pants on fire.